Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Reddit is one of the best sites on the internet as far as information goes. After YouTube, of course. Here you'll find people sharing cute dog videos, engaging in pointless debates, and every now and again solving mysteries. Yes, that's right. Redditors are the digital version of the Scooby-Doo gang, and when they club together, it seems like there's nothing they can't solve. Which is what brings us to look at 10 mysteries solved by Reddit. Before we uncover some mysteries, why not hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be notified of future videos. If you wound up enjoying this video, remember to give it a like and tell us what mystery you would love to solve in the comment section below. Number 10. Grateful Doe the first mystery on our list involves identifying a man that died in a brutal car crash over 20 years ago. In 1995, a 19-year-old hitchhiker got into a van in Virginia belonging to a 21-year-old student on his way to see his mother. After that night, neither man would be seen alive again. At some point during their journey, the car veered off the road and smashed into a tree, killing both men instantly. The driver was identified by his family but the hitchhiker's injuries were so severe that he was unrecognizable. The only clues to his identity were two scalped ticket stubs to a Grateful Dead concert and a note which read, Jason, sorry we had to go. See you around. Call me. Caroline T. and Caroline O. The police were stumped and eventually the case was forgotten about until a Reddit user and Grateful Dead fan stumbled across it and started sharing digitally reconstructed images of Jason on Reddit. After some time, someone recognized the man as Jason Callahan, who was following the Grateful Dead on tour at the time of his tragic death. Number 9. Nail Through Wood When a photo of a block of wood with a nail through it was posted on Reddit, people lost their minds. Now, a nail and a piece of wood probably don't sound all that exciting, but take a look at this. How the heck did it get there? Many questions were asked. Is it a fake nail? No. Is the wood really one solid piece? Yes. So if the wood and the nail are as they seem to be, how did they end up like that? Well, thankfully, there was a carpenter online ready to solve the mystery, and he kindly made a video showing exactly how it was done. Steve Ramsey, our hero in this mystery, took a block of pine wood and cut it to create the three hollows we see here. Then, and here's where the magic happened, he dunked one end in boiling water and let it sit for 10 minutes. This softens the wood so it can then be placed in a vise to push one of the blocks down. Then, after two days, he drilled a hole and inserted the nail before dunking it in boiling water again to allow the wood to reform. Then, with a little sanding, presto! The trick is complete. Number 8. Web Driver Torso In 2014, right here on YouTube, users started noticing a channel displaying very strange behavior. The channel, called Web Driver Torso, was posting videos as frequently as one per minute, and they all followed a strange pattern. Most of them were 11 seconds long and featured a series of strange tones with changing images of blue and red shapes and nobody could work out what the videos were or why they were being posted. Ah, uh, but when internet sleuths caught on to this weird YouTuber, Reddit went wild with speculations as to what the channel could mean. Of course, conspiracy theories were up there with the most popular reasons for the short videos, and wannabe detectives blamed the government, spies, and even extraterrestrials for the strange events. Eventually, someone figured out that the account could be linked back to Google, and Google confirmed that the account had simply been created to test audio and visual quality within video uploads. Am I the only one who wishes it had actually been aliens or spies? Hmm. Number 7. The Bugged Extension Cord Okay, so this one is super creepy. When Redditor Shady Business 15 blew a fuse in his extension cord, he took it apart to see the damage, but found a lot more than he expected to. Confused by what seemed to be something that didn't belong inside an extension cable, Shady Business 15 posted pictures online asking for help determining what the mysterious items were. It wasn't long until the unsettling answer was offered up by another Redditor. 
It was a microphone connected to a SIM card. Yep, that's right. Somebody had been bugging him. Yikes. Shady Business 15 called the number he found on the SIM card, but all he heard was a recorded message from the operator. The service is now closed. If you have voicemail, you can turn it on. He contacted the bug's manufacturer to see whether they could offer up an explanation for his disturbing findings, but he was told he'd need a warrant if he wanted to find out what had been recorded. Number 6. Cicada 3301 In 2012, a bizarre puzzle, Cicada 3301, mysteriously appeared online. It was accompanied by a note which read, Hello, we're looking for highly intelligent individuals. To find them, we have devised a test. There is a message hidden in the image. Find it, and it will lead you on the road to finding us. We look forward to meeting the few who will make it all the way through. Good luck. Many people tried and failed to crack the code, but few succeeded. One of the guys who can claim victory over the code was a Swedish cybersecurity researcher who just so happened to have the steganography software and knowledge of the Mayan language required to solve it. Joel Erickson solved one piece of the puzzle at a time and several parts took him offline and out into the real world to discover a voicemail left on a Texan phone number and flyers taped to telephone poles in 14 cities around the world. The individual or group responsible for Cicada 3301 still remains a mystery to this day. Number 5. Box of Mystery In 2013, a Redditor found a mysterious box in the trash and started to document his investigation into the contents of said box. Inside the tattered wooden case, he found dozens of items, including beautiful illustrations, hand-drawn maps, and personal items. What was perhaps most bizarre, though, was the discovery of a handwritten note, which seems to be talking about either an extraterrestrial invasion or a government cover-up. It seems as though the owner of the box saw something in 1977 in Tampa, Florida, that changed them forever, and the many drawings combining extraterrestrial and religious imagery seems to give us some clue of what it is that he saw. Pretty spooky, huh? Number 4. Stonehenge Code In 2011, several Redditors noticed that someone was dumping a crazy amount of code into a now-private thread with this catchy title. Nobody in the thread could seem to make sense of the code, and for a while, it was a complete mystery, until one user finally decoded one of the posts and discovered an ASCII drawing of Stonehenge. It's impossible to be sure whether these posts were linked together to achieve a single purpose, or whether it was simply a fellow Redditor getting their kicks from confusing people. But as of 2016, some people were still trying to figure it all out. Number 3. Post-it Notes In this incredible mystery, one Reddit user actually ended up saving a life when he solved the puzzle of why post-it notes were appearing all over his apartment. Reddit user rbradbury1920 was confused when he found a post-it note in his apartment reminding him of some errands he had to do. Not so weird, right? Well, the odd thing is that he had no memory of writing it, and it looked as though the note wasn't in his handwriting. When he found several more over the following weeks, he started to freak out. Then, when he set up a camera to catch the note maker, and it showed that nobody entered his apartment, that was when he took his concerns to Reddit. I mean, where else? R. Bradbury1920 posted his conundrum, stating that he thought his landlord was to blame for the post-it mystery, but Kakerlak had a different theory. This Reddit super sleuth suggested that R. Bradbury1920 was leaving the notes himself and that he wasn't remembering for one of two reasons either mental health issues or something physical like a carbon monoxide leak. R. Bradbury, 1920, decided to check out the gas leak theory and, wouldn't you know it, there was an actual leak. Kakerlak's smart detective work saved his fellow Redditor's life, proving just how brilliant the Reddit community really is. Number 2. Hit and Run From saving lives to fighting crime, this next tale proves that the Reddit hive mind is a powerful thing. 
following a violent hit and run, a Reddit user named Meatheaded, who lived near the scene of the crime, posted a picture of a broken taillight. He asked if anybody was able to identify the vehicle that it came from and, as always, Redditors had a lot to say on the matter. There were over 400 comments with theories and suggestions of the light's origins, and the fragment was determined to have come from a gray 1991 Cadillac Brome. Meathead had took that information to his local police auto theft unit to see whether there was a match, and of course, there was. The hit and run suspect was caught thanks to Meatheaded and his band of fellow nerds, uh, detectives. Number one, Strongsville, Jane Doe. In 1975, three unfortunate boys stumbled upon a skeleton close to a river in Ohio. All police could determine is that the bones belonged to a woman who was between the ages of 18 and 25 years old who had been shot in the head. It was determined that the crime had occurred at least five months prior to her body being discovered leaving the poor young woman unidentified and the case cold. That is until 2015, when Reddit got on the case. One user who goes by Call Me Ice was interested in the mysterious case and decided to do a little digging. Somehow, she got a hold of the original autopsy reports, including a photo of the woman's damaged skull. A forensic scientist then helped her create a facial reconstruction which was then compared to a photo of a 17-year-old woman, Linda Pagano, who went missing in late 1974 following a heated argument with her stepfather. Tests were run on the skeleton, and it was determined that it did, in fact, belong to Linda, and she was finally laid to rest by her sister. Thanks for watching. Be sure to voice your comments below, subscribe to the channel, click the bell so we can let you know when new videos debut, like this video and be sure to share it with all of your friends and family.